Gosh, get it with the lingo. What? Get with the lingo. What You're, lingo? You know, you get. Stall. Stalled it. <laughs> <laughs> First time. Yeah? Nah. No. Nah. Hello there folks welcome back to the channel thank you for joining us today and we have a very 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 cool car with us today uh, this is behind me is a 1988 Porsche 911 Carrera uh, we're gonna take it for a quick drive to tell you guys what it is like to drive a 1980s icon let's go here's the exterior folks and I I think this is by far the most quintessential color, color combination, right? For like the 80s cars, yeah. you know, the, the red Porsche with the, with the black top. Huh? What do you think? That or silver. Huh? That or that silver. Or silver. You know? Yeah. You know? the, uh, for me, it, with the Porsches, it always was the, the headlights. It always looked like, like some like it was like a sad face. Like like right now, look at it. It looks like Finding Nemo. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's, like, he's like frowning. Yeah. So I never, I never was a fan of the way the, uh, the light shapes and the bumper. Uh, but, but I mean, it's it's a, it's a classic, you know, it's a classic Porsche look. Of so course. I mean, you either like it or you don't like it. So there's there's no there's nothing in between. So, and uh, you know, this car is in excellent uh, condition cosmetically. Uh, the paint is in beautiful condition. Uh, the interior is really really nice. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I obviously I don't like is the um, the convertible top. Yeah. I'm not a fan of convertibles, but that's you know, you know, it is what it is. So. My uh, yeah. what I find funny about this car is. Uh, Back it back the 80s sports cars always tried to like hide the door handle. Yeah. And, and this one did the same thing, but it sticks out and then it it, it, it has it behind it, which is kind of uh, kind of weird, in my opinion. Like it's like you're hiding the door handle, but you're really not because you just put the the little lever behind it. I don't know. It's... No, I mean, eh, I don't know. That's that's your beef. And that's my beef. Yeah. It's just funny. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's a really cool car, man. I really really like this. I think. <clears throat> Uh, I think the color combo is really striking, so now let's check it out on the inside. Uh, power seats for driver, not power seats. They're not for power passenger. seats. Yeah, they are. No, they're they're actually it's actually a manual seat. But What's the this for? is uh, I don't know. Oh, it's up and down. Yeah, it's electrical. Yeah, look at that. Huh? Yeah, yeah but it, it moves uh, back and front is manual. Right. Yeah. There's power in yeah. the seat. There's yeah. no power in the seat on the passenger. There isn't. I didn't see anything. Okay, but. Again, uh, quintessent quintessentially 80s interior, um, <clears throat> and it's it's an absolutely beautiful condition. Um, I, I really like the seats. I think they're very very comfortable seats. Uh, I think a lot of manufacturers need to take lessons from Porsche how to how to make a seat. You know? Yeah. yeah. Let's, like, let's check it out on the other side. <clears throat> And you are you are correct, sir. There's no power adjustments on on the passenger seat. Uh, here you have a shift knob that is from a 1970s truck, right? It's from uh, an yeah. 18 wheeler. Yeah. Yeah, but the interior is really really nice in this car. Um, the way everything is laid out is really really uh, user friendly, and it's a really driver's car. So what it's like to drive a 1988. Porsche 911 Carrera. One one word I'll sum it up for you. It sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. I could feel every shift. It shifts almost as bad as my BMW. Well, here's the thing. I, I got this car from my friend Ivan. My car is in the shop. He, he gave it to me to drive for a couple of days to back and forth to work. Um, and uh, the problem with Ivan and every single car that Ivan owns is that there's no functioning air conditioning in any of his cars. I, I don't know why. This is a sophisticated 240 AC system. 240? What is it? 240? Yeah, yeah. Two windows down, 40 miles an hour. That's right. So, well, right now we're stopped at a light, so there's zero <laughs> miles an hour and zero wind. Now but it's a zero, zero, zero. Zero, right? zero, zero situation, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've been driving this car for a couple of days now, and uh, um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of, like, an idea of what it's like to drive an 80s Icon. And keep in mind that I had a poster of this car on, on my bedroom wall when I was a kid, you know, I mean, this was, I mean, this is an iconic car and the, the prices for these have gone through the roof, recently, you know, in, in the last few years, but in all honesty, uh. this is a challenge, <laughs> it is a challenge to drive and we take 
and I've, I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. We, I mean, it goes, man. It goes. Um, I said it before and I say it again, that um, we take modern cars so for granted. Yeah. I mean, we really, really, we are so spoiled by modern cars because, you know, after driving this car, like when I, when I drive this to work and back, I mean, I'm tired, you know? This is this is like, you have to be driving this car. You can't just be like, ah, la, 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 let me, let me sip on my latte, you know? Like, this, <laughs> you have to be driving this car. And you gotta manhandle this thing. It's not like, oh, you know, hydraulic this, hyd you know? Like, no. this, this is like, you have to work for this. Um, but again, you know, we look good, right? Oh, yeah, we look amazing. We, we look like, in, you know, we're in a red Porsche that, you know, <laughs> Clunks into fourth, you know, but the the problem with it is like oh, the uh, oh, nice nice shift. It's is, nice. Uh, nice. It doesn't want to go into fourth <laughs> for some reason. It looks the the oh. shift knob looks like a uh, yeah, like a trucker knob, you know, like well, it, yeah, it yeah, looks no, like you can looks like you can drive a semi. See, it pops out of fourth. Oh, now now we're in. Right, did you stall? No, no. Nope. Uh, um, but yeah, it's just like uh, it's just like motor, yeah. frame, wheel. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all you needed back in the day, and uh, I mean this. This is a high performance car by you know eight, 1988 standards. So, oh boy, <laughs> am I in gear? I don't, I don't know. know. Hit the gas and you'll know. <laughs> nope, I don't think I am. Nope. nope. <laughs> now I am. And now we have slowed down that I don't need fifth anymore. <laughs> It definitely needs some work. It's not. It's not perfect, and no, no classic car ever will be. Yeah. But uh, uh, this is the coveted G50 transmission. This is a five-speed transmission that everybody wants in a Porsche. Uh, and um, again, I don't know if there's something wrong with this one, but it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm, again, I'm spoiled by the Chevy SS because the transmission in that car is so precise. Um, it's a pleasure to drive. This, you know, you gotta do some fishing to find the gears, you know, it's not, you know, it's not very easy. And of course, you know, this car has 166,000 miles on it, so obviously there's some wear and tear, yeah. you know. But Ivan keeps it in pretty good shape. He does. The, the, the exterior is in excellent shape, the, cos the cosmetics are very good, this interior is in beautiful condition, very it really, good. really is. Um, and the, the other thing is that uh, the seats are extremely comfortable these seats remind me of my s550 mustang seats and i said this uh, time and time again the s550 seats are the most comfortable seats out there these are just as good yeah. i really really like these seats i They're mean very the, nice. the, the bolstering is just amazing i mean they hold you in place very very impressive for it's like it's from 1988 you know like yeah. this is this is amazing i mean this is something that you could definitely toss around if the transmission shifts you know but did you honk the horn or was it somebody else? No, I don't know. Somebody's in a hurry. Yeah, but the seats are very comfortable. The interior is in beautiful condition. And of course, once you get in here, um, the gauge the gauge cluster you know, layout is absolutely classic Porsche. I mean, it is quintessential Porsche layout. The tag is right in front of you because that's all you care about is your tag. The speedo is right there. You can see everything. Um, everything is within reach. And I, I know it's a small car, you know what I mean? But, um, I mean, we're really close to each other. We're very intimate. You know what I mean? <laughs> My favorite feature of this car is the, uh, the locks. The door locks. Yeah. It's like a, a roll, yeah. uh, like a spinning wheel. But I think it's also power, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just, uh, for the last couple of days, I've been driving this to work and uh, I, I've been just trying to get there. You know, I haven't, I haven't had time to uh, try to figure out what's, you know, what's going on here. And again, it's a very simple interior. You know what I mean? There's nothing here. There's no like sad nav or XM radio, you know, like you, yeah. you have your, you have your CD player, which is an aftermarket and you have a couple of knobs and the AC controls are down here and that's it. I mean, that's really all you need. Yeah. You know, how much crap do you need in the car? You know what I mean? It's all extra shit that's going to break anyways, right? So, but um, uh, this is definitely, at least for me, um, what I find most surprising about this car is what? that, you know, everything is it's so, it's so basic on it purpose, is. obviously, yeah. to, to reduce it's weight. A, it's a driver's car, yeah. But the windows are powered. Yeah. That's, that's strange. Well, they didn't do this back in the day as much as they do now. 
you know so uh, now they have these like uh, special editions the GT3 and the blah 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 you know they take out the back seat they charge you more money for it you know yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they didn't they didn't really do that back in the day now they found a way to you know rip people off so but um, I mean the, the number one issue I guess besides the transmission being a little sucky um, is the fact that this is a convertible you know uh, I'm not a fan of convertibles because there's always noises, rattles, you know, um, yeah. leaks, um, and uh, uh, obviously people who are trying to buy one of these cars are really looking for the coupes because the chassis is more rigid, you know. So the coupes, in my opinion, are you know are the ones to get if you uh, if you really want to you know a track car or something that you're gonna drive you know toss around really hard. Mm -hmm. But a convertible obviously is cooler. Because you can put the top down. I don't know about that. I don't yeah. really like the, the look, the exterior look. And you can see it. Like every every soft top convertible is always a different color than the uh, than the exterior. And I just don't like the way it looks. It, it, uh, well, okay. it I don't like the contrasting color. I just don't like the, the soft in general, the soft top in general. Me neither. I don't like convertibles. But uh, you know, it, it is what it is. We you know we got the chance to drive this uh, 88 Porsche. And and just the specs real quick, folks, in case uh, some people don't know, this is a 3.2 liter. Uh, flat six air cooled uh, engine and this is not a turbo so this is the Carrera uh, and again with the G50 transmission that everybody is uh, you know lusting after are we gonna do a, a brake test uh, see, it, no. see how well this car brakes no the, the brakes <laughs> let me tell you the brakes on this car um, I think there's something wrong with the brakes uh, oops I missed I missed it Four, five, six tries, seven tries. Nope. nope. Now <laughs> Eight I got tries. It. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Yes. <laughs> See, like it rewards you. Like yeah, yes, yeah. I made it. Um, Too bad that that Ivan loaned you this car uh, just for a couple days while you're for for work. Because uh, we can take it to the track and see how well you can shift in the yeah, gears. Yeah, there's, there's, I'm gonna leave the transmission in the pits. You know, like, that's what's gonna happen. First um, turn. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> uh, but uh, again, I mean, I'm, I've been driving it on a highway since I've been driving to work and stuff. But um, it handles very, very well. The handling is very good on the car, um, which is surprising for a 30 year old car. You know, it's very, very tight. The chassis is very rigid. You know. Yeah. Um, it's just it's a it's a good car to like toss around corners. What about uh what about fish tailing and, and stuff like that? You know what? I it's not my car, so I, I I'm not pushing it to the limit. So I, mm -hmm. I want to be able to return it back in one piece. <laughs> uh, and here's the other thing: like when you take off your foot off the gas, it's, it gets a little clunky. So I hear it also. Yeah, it makes like uh, it makes kind of like a backfiring noise, but not really. It's not a backfiring noise. It's the, it's the drivetrain noise. <laughs> I know. I'm saying it makes yeah. like a backfiring noise. You, you already know I'm that sweating. I know nothing about cars. Yeah. <laughs> well, one, two, three works fine. When, when you start getting into fourth gear, yeah, that's when the challenge uh, presents itself, you know, yeah. Um, and I was saying about the brakes, the brakes are definitely, there's something wrong with the brakes. I think, uh, I think that Ivan told me when he, when he, when he gave me the scar, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, the rear brakes are locking up, so that's great to know. Oh, that's good. Um, so, I, I don't want to push the scar, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do anything crazy with it, uh, but you know. Nope. All right. Three. Three tries. Nope. Very I, impressive. I, oh, I made it to fifth. Yes. Yeah. If if this car is sorted out, it's probably gonna you know ride much nicer. I mean, it, it rides nice. I mean, we, we're not going too fast, but uh, uh, if, for for a car that's so many years, you know what I mean? It's it's in phenomenal condition. Uh, the cosmetics are really good, and um, aside from this transmission, that probably needs some attention. And the clutch that's gone. The clutch yeah. picks up at the at the last like millimeter. You know, like yeah, there's, you know, it, it's. Um, uh, I, I think it's a great car, but I wouldn't want to drive this every day. So, oh no. Yeah. Even I as a weekend car, it yeah. seems to be and, uh, not a joy. It seems to be more of like a, it, a punishment. Well, it's, it's work, you know. Yeah. It's it's work. And let me tell you something. If you're a married guy. And if you're looking to buying one of these, let me tell you, your wife is going to hate it. <laughs> I guarantee you that your wife is going to hate this car, okay? Because I can I can tell you right now that if I put my wife in this car, she's she's going to be complaining the entire way. It's like, oh, it's noisy. Oh, it's... Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
but I, I, I can foresee that, you know, most women who are not really, uh, you know, like car people, you know, they're probably not going to enjoy this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is not something, you know, this is something you drive on your own and, you know, yeah. It's a car you buy and you hide it in a warehouse, you know, so you wipe it. So she doesn't know you have it. Yeah. But, uh, and here's another thing, you know, I, I want to just quickly talk about the pedals. The pedals are close to each other, which I like, which makes uh, heel toe easy. Um, but they are slightly shifted to the right. It's like, the, you know, it's like the, the Ferraris of the 90s and Lamborghinis of the 90s. The pedals that are. That were all on the right side. Yeah, they're a little bit shifted to the right because I guess the wheel well is right there. So. It makes for a, a little bit awkward seating position. You, you get used to it after a while, but it's a little bit off. So something to keep in mind on, and the dead pedal is not, you can't really stretch your uh, left leg. There's no room, I guess the, the wheel is right there. Mm -hmm. So after uh, a little bit of driving, it becomes uncomfortable because you can't, you know, you want to stretch your leg and you can't, right. you know? So that's that's something to look for. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna drive this car on, on a trip or something, I, 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 can't, I can't really see anybody who, who would, but you know. In case you do, that's uh, that's something to consider. You know, I haven't gotten into many '80s uh, '80s cars. Well, but, we, uh, your dad has an '80s uh, Mercedes. Right? We're gonna we're gonna do that one next. Right, right. Yeah. But um, my uh, 1985 Firebird smelled exactly like this car. <clears throat> it, 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 is that I like an '80s thinking, thing? Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking about that. And uh, uh, when I when I reviewed the DeLorean, you know, the, yeah, I, I, I didn't I, smell the DeLorean. Yeah, well, even so you can maybe I'll it, stick my hand in yeah, there and smell it. When I reviewed the DeLorean, it smelled exactly like my 1979 Lincoln Continental. So, yeah. um, I think it's it's something to do with the plastics back in the day. That everything was produced at the same factory or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it, it brings back the memories, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, it, it does. You know, this this car smells like a quintessential '80s car, you know, and. Uh, if you're, the, if you're the child of the 80s, you know, I mean, you, you sit in one of those, it's like, oh my God, I smell my childhood, you know? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Maybe we should start selling uh, 1980s uh, Fresh, I think they car do. air yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> make, your, uh, make your brand new BMW uh, smell, smell like a 1980s. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> a 1980s yeah. Firebird, yeah. Porsche, DeLorean. The, the other thing I, I really like about the car is the steering wheel. I mean, look, this is 1988. The steering wheel is, look, look how sporty it is. You, you, you have the grip for your thumbs in here and I like the T it's very it's very small it's very grippy obviously there's no power steering in this car uh, and no airbag come on what do you <laughs> but um, I mean it's it's a very comfortable steering wheel and, and in general the seating position is is so driver oriented I mean it's just it's it's unbelievable that this is 1988 you know yeah well a driver's car right yeah That's it's a it driver's was, car was, and it just everything is right there at your at your fingertips and it's just it's it's a very comfortable car I, I love these seats. Man, I wish I could take them out and put them in my SS. <laughs> it doesn't like to be it likes to be in a in a higher revs. Like it doesn't like to it doesn't like low revs. Well yeah, yeah. it's uh yeah. it's a car that wants uh to go. wants to go and yeah. and it's not built for South Florida traffic. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it, it, it this car doesn't like low revs. Let's see if I can make it into four at this time. Eh, I'll just leave it at third. <laughs> You just mess with it too long, and then you have to go back to third anyway. So yeah. Fine. You know what else is uh, oh. interesting is that what you know I've never. I'm, great. You know. That's what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah. I've never been in a yeah. 1980s Porsche, but I I always thought them in the, in pictures and such that they looked small and like you know tiny. You can see everything in this car. Well, you know why? Because they didn't have these stupid regulations back in the day. So the A pillar is paper thin. So when you roll <laughs> over, you're gonna die. You know? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Too. That's you know. Yeah, there's no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, if you yeah. roll on this car, yeah, you're, you're dead. But yeah. they didn't have these regulations. Now you look at modern cars. The A pillar is like this thick; it blocks your view. Right. In this car, you don't have that problem. The visibility is great. I mean, obviously, as a convertible, you know, the visibility out the back is a little iffy. But um, you know, side visibility is just and amazing. front. I mean, it's beautiful. You know. But again, you know, the crash protection was not really a goal back in the day. No, so no, you know, no. like you crash, you die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, he definitely has to said, you can't roll this car. If you roll this car, it's over. Oh, missed it again. Yep. All right, let's just keep it in third. <clears throat> so, yeah, I, I, I mean, I like it, but it's it's a novelty. You know oh, what yes, I mean? It's course. a novelty, and it's not something that I would like to drive every day. Um, If the transmission is fixed, it'll be more fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, folks, my time with this Porsche has come to an end. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share. Bye.
Boom! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>